Anti-lag and two-step. What are they and what are the differences? Starting with anti-lag systems, or ALS for short, anti-lag systems should only be used on turbocharged engines. The reason for this is in the system's purpose. Every turbocharged engine has turbo lag. The bigger the turbo, the more severe the lag is. Turbo lag comes from the time it takes the engine to create enough exhaust pressure to spin the turbine, and thus create boost. As you might have noticed with the name, anti-lag systems get rid of this turbo lag by igniting unburnt fuel in the exhaust before going through the turbine. This external combustion of fuel spools the turbo and thus reduces and or eliminates turbo lag. There are several ways to do this by combustion. The first is by adding extra fuel into the combustion chamber, which then leaves the chamber without being burnt. It then comes into contact with the hot components, causing it to ignite and spool up the turbo. In some cases, people also install an additional fuel injector and a spark plug in the exhaust, although it isn't very common. Either way, both of these methods allow turbos to stay spooled up no matter what the exhaust floor or RPM is. However, there are disadvantages to this. Firstly, the external combustion of fuel will mean that there is a lot more wear and tear on components like the exhaust manifold, turbine wheel, etc. This is why WRC cars tend to replace their turbos after every race, simply because of how much anti-lag systems damage the components. Of course, other than that, having an anti-lag system would mean that your car would most likely not meet emissions regulations. Anti-lag systems can often be recognized by the constant popping or backfiring sounds accompanied by a few flames. However, this is where some confusion can occur with two-step, a similar but yet completely different thing. Although two-step at the first glance looks similar, it has a completely different purpose. Unlike anti-lag, two-step's purpose is to hold the RPMs in order to get the best launch possible. It is basically a second rev limiter that is usually adjustable. There are several ways to hold RPMs for two-step. The more commonly used one by cars with factory two-step is to cut fuel to the engine. This leads to a steady RPM with no flames shooting out the back. The more commonly used system by aftermarket tuners are two-step systems that cut the ignition, but not the fuel. This is the one that you often see shooting flames through the exhaust. When the ignition is cut, the unburnt fuel is sent out the exhaust where it then ignites, causing the flames. In this case, the two-step is also functioning as an anti-lag system because the fuel is being ignited before the turbine. However, this is where the differences between the two are kind of blurred. Basically, anti-lag systems are used to keep the turbos spooled up by igniting fuel before the turbine wheel, whereas two-step systems are used to keep RPM steady in order to get the best launch possible. In the case of ignition cut two-step systems, it also could function as an anti-lag system because it ignites fuel before the turbine wheel. However, anti-lag systems can only be installed on turbocharged cars because anti-lag systems are only needed when there is turbo lag, whereas two-step systems can be installed on any vehicle whether it be naturally aspirated, supercharged, or turbocharged. Anyways, I hope this video cleared up the differences between the two and explained how they work. If you think you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me out and so you can keep up to date with new content. If you have any suggestions for video ideas, feel free to leave a comment down below. Anyways, thanks. I saw you